So number one, overtraining and not doing restorative exercise. For most guys, training more than three days a week, lifting more than three days a week, and if you're lifting to fatigue on each set, is gonna wreak havoc on your body. It means joint problems, stiffness, injuries. Even at a few times a week, weightlifting is hard on your system. Add that, you know, carrying 30, 40, 50 pounds of extra weight, extra muscle on your body, and you are really putting a toll on your joints. Um, I did a lot of damage to my body by doing these crazy routines in my early 20s, uh, working out way too much and doing no restorative exercise. So over the last couple of years, I cut my workouts down immensely. Um, I actually got stronger. I gained more by, by keeping my workouts super intense but brief and by doing yoga for restoration. Um, yoga is absolutely amazing for restoring your body as well as stretching before and after every workout. Were it up to me and it was not about looks and vanity, I would never touch a weight, okay? Weightlifting does come with some advantages for your health, you know, bone structure and you know, being able to raise your metabolism slightly by carrying extra muscle. But overall, it overall I would not touch a weight if it weren't for looking good for women and feeling good because the amount of stiffness that comes with it, the amount of extra back pain that comes with all the muscle, the amount of um, massage that you have to do to loosen up, I would be, instead of being 175 pounds, I would be 120 pounds if looks looks weren't important. And even, even losing just 10 pounds, even if it's 10 pounds of muscle, my cardio goes up 20%. If I drop down to 120 pounds, my cardio would go up, you know, 200%. Um, the last hardcore cut that I did that went way too far was maybe six years ago, and I cut to like 145 pounds, and it was, I, I, the, the biggest thing was I could just run on the treadmill forever, or I could run, I could, I could bike forever. Um, even when you're putting on muscle and not fat. Every, every pound affects your cardio. So you have to do the restorative exercise if you want to be able to lift into your 30s and into your 40s and into your 50s and have everything work properly. Number two, CrossFit. Do not do fucking CrossFit. CrossFit's an injury factory. Unless you're a UFC fighter, there's no reason to combine weightlifting and explosive movement. That's a recipe for disaster. Okay, Lifting weights should be done in slow, controlled movement with complete focus on your body and complete focus on muscular contraction and, and being in control of that movement, okay? Doing wind sprints into rapid sets of bad form deadlift is just fucking retarded. And if you watch these videos on CrossFit, these, these CrossFit camps are run a lot of the time by people who barely have any training and the, the people are not instructed properly in, in how to do deadlifts. I mean, to get the deadlift down, it it might take you, uh, you know, a month and a half of just lifting the bar really slow to make sure that your form is proper, uh, to make sure that your form is proper, okay? Especially if you're lifting more weight, um, you know. And don't even get me started on these these tough mutter or any of these other Ironman competitions. There's there's no reason for you to be doing that shit. That's that stuff is just asking to be injured. Fuck, I don't even play soccer anymore because every year I'll roll over on my ankle and then at 33 that takes me three, four months to heal, okay? Keep your eyes on the prize. You know, your eyes, your prize is is looking good and feeling good in a gym and not getting injured. So stay the fuck away from CrossFit. 